Hello friends, welcome to my channel Civil Engineering Forum. We are in the 11th part of the topic connections where today we are going to talk about failures of bolted joints. Which means what can be the types of failure in any bolted joint. So the various modes of failure of bolted joints are as under. So the first is shear failure of bolt. Then we have bearing failure of bolt. Then on the third number we have tensile failure of bolt. Then fourth number we have bending failure of bolt. Shear failure of plate on the fifth number. Sixth is bending failure of plate. And the last one, the seventh is tensile failure of plate. So any bolted connection can have any of this uh, failure, uh, which one by one we'll understand in detail today. Possible modes of failure of bolted connections. See here I've shown numerous diagrams representing all the types of failures uh, by the sketches. This figure shows shear failure of bolt. See these two uh, forces, uh, but not in the same line, with some eccentricity uh, fails this bolt uh, in shear. Similarly, uh, shear failure of plate. See, uh, if we apply tension force in the plate in this manner, there may there is a possibility that uh, bolt doesn't fail in the plate uh, does fail in the shear. Then on the third number, we have bearing failure of bolt. This is the type of failure any bolt uh, may undergo. Uh, you might have experience when you keep on tightening a bolt and uh, it just keeps on rotating but does not get tightened. This is known as bearing failure. It may be of bolt or it may be of plate. This is the bearing failure of plate. Here you can see here if we try to tighten the bolt the plate has been failed in bearing. But uh, most commonly we have bearing failure of plate only because bolt are generally uh, more stronger than uh, the plates. Then we have tensile failure of bolt. Sometimes it may so happen that the tensile load uh, or the tensile forces which can, comes on the uh, bolt is much more as uh, compared to or gets exceeded as compared to the tensile strength of the bolt carrying capacity. And so there may be tensile failure of bolt. It may be uh, it may break or get elongated, or uh, in this way it can fail. Then we have bending failure of bolt. Uh, here we can see that uh, in case uh, if the bolt doesn't uh, suddenly fail in shear, there may be certain bending before the shear failure. As seen over here. This bolt has bent at the middle due to the shear force. This is known as bending failure of bolt. And then we have tensile failure of plate. See sometimes we might uh, observe that uh, Due to the force which is applied uh, beyond the uh, tensile capacity of the plate, the, there is possibility that the plate might fail in the tension. It is not able to carry the tensile force and it may break with this crack. So this is the tensile failure of plate. But uh, right now we just have saw the figure and tried to understand from this diagram what are the failures on the bolt connection. But we'll understand this in detail. Shear failure of bolt. Plates bolted together and subjected to tensile force may result in shearing of the bolt. In case of lap joint, when shearing of the bolt load occurs on one plane, it is referred to the single shear failure. See now here we are referring to single shear failure. When two plates are bolted together and applying the tensile force on this plate might uh, fail this bolt in shear due to this eccentricity we, as we had a talk in detail regarding this in my previous session that is 10th part so this is only possible in a case of lap joint when the shearing of the bolt load occurs here it might this bolt might fail in shear this is known as single shear failure when the bolt only fails in one plane but now we'll understand what is double shear failure this double shear failure if the shearing of the bolt occurs at two different planes, as in case of double cover butt joint, it is referred as double shear failure. See here we are not using lap joint and there is no eccentricity. But the failure of bolt still might occur in shear like this and like this. Although we are having double cover and uh, line of action of the force is on the same line as we can see this starting till this. There is force acting on the same line and double cover butt joint without eccentricity then too this bolt might fail in shear then this type of uh, failure is known as double shear failure uh, moving further 
in case of short bolted connection with equal size bolt see we are having if we are having short bolted connections and uh, size of the bolts are equal each bolt share shear forces equally see if we are having short bolted connection and equal size bolts then all the uh, bolts might share the shear force equally but in case of long bolts this is uneven the shear force is not evenly distributed it is not evenly distributed among the bolts the bolts at the end of the joint resist the high amount of shear force see end bolt will resist high amount of shear force so we need to provide uh, high capacity bolts at the ends in such joints the end bolt force may be so high that it may lead to progressive joint failure called unbuttoning if the end bolt fails then this type of failure is known as unbuttoning then next is shear distribution in a long bolted connection see now as we had a talk regarding long bolted connection we already know that uh, in short bolted connection we have a even distribution of shear force in all the bolts but if we are having long bolted connection then assumed shear force is something like this where it is distributed more at the end that is a and b this and b and this and a we can see that this is distributed more over here less at the center again more over here but actual shear distribution is this what we are assuming is this is our assumed shear distribution that all the bolts are taking equal amount of shear force so this becomes our assumed shear distribution and this is the actual shear distribution but how can we design the strength of the bolt is based on the end bolt we can have all the bolts of the similar strength what the end bolt here we are having because we are assuming all the bolts taking same shear force then next is uh, shear failure of plate see we can have shear failure of plate as we saw in the diagram when the strength of the plate is less than the shearing strength of the bolt the shear failure or we can say tearing failure so this is the another name of the shear, shear failure of the plate it gets torn like a paper tearing failure of plate may occur to avoid this type of failure minimum edge distance shall be provided see as we have already discussed edge and end distance criteria as according to is 800 2007 it should be uh, taken care about in order to avoid shear failure of plate then next we have tensile failure of bolt now uh, this also we saw in the diagram that bolt might uh, fail in tension due to the overloading of the bolt uh, and uh, exceeding its capacity when factored tensile force on the bolt exceeds its tensile capacity the bolt will fail in tension the tensile capacity of bolt depend upon the tensile strength of the bolt material and minimum cross sectional now see if you are asked in exam on what factor does the strength of the bolt uh, tensile strength of the bolt depend then we can see that uh, basically on the material of the bolt type of the bolt then minimum cross section of the threaded area of the bolt so there are numerous factors which can affect this this is tensile failure of bolt and then we have prying force now we will understand this term what is prying okay the additional tension induced due to moment resisting connection that is beam to column connection are called prying force in case of beam to column connection the upper bolt in the see here we are talking about the upper bolt upper bolts in the end plate connection are subjected to additional force known as prying force see if we i have taken an example of a cantilever beam here if this beam is connected by the help of four bolts for example then all four bolts are here then we can say that uh, due to this load f this upper two bolts are having more tensile force these two bolts are taking more tensile force that is what is explained in this first two lines and this uh, force is known as prying force these are the additional forces to the same type of bolt design when prying force uh, most commonly the prying force is abbreviated by capital q see when prying force is significant it shall be calculated as per clause 10.4.7 indian standard 800 2007 and added to the tension in the bolt so basically what uh, prying force tells us is to design the bolt in tension and that is why this topic is included in the failure of bolt in tension so that the bolt what we are designing uh, to take this upper part tension is resisted in uh, failure then we have bearing failure of bolts and plate as we discussed in the diagram bolt might fail in bearing in even bolt and plate but most commonly we have failure of bolt in 
plate. When strength of bolt material is lower than the strength of plates, the bolt will not be able to provide sufficient bearing to the plate and bolt will fail in bearing. The bolt will not be able to provide sufficient bearing to the plate and bolt will fail in bearing. See in this case I have explained that sometimes it might so happen that the capacity of bolt is very less as compared to the plate at that time. If the threading is not proper or whatsoever reason is there due to the bolt hole is smaller and we keep on tightening the bolt at that time there may be the failure of bolt but this is very rare. Normally bolts does not see here I will show normally bolt does not fail in bearing owing to much higher strength than that of the steel plate. So the bolt is always stronger as compared to that of the steel plate. See we have most probability of bearing failure of the plate. Then we have shear and bearing forces on the bolt. This figure shows the distribution of shear force on a bolt due to three plates and uh, how the force is divided. Similarly this figure also shows the bearing force distribution in any bolt. In case of black bolted connection forces are transmitted through the bolts by shear and bearing. See we can transmit the forces not only by shear but also by bearing. So black bolted connections transfers the load by these two things. So friends this was all about the modes of failure in bolted connection. Wait for the next part and thank you for watching.